The Breakfast Cereal's Radioactive Secret Quaker Oats Experiment Imagine starting your day with a seemingly innocent bowl of cereal. You pour the grains into your favorite bowl, add a splash of milk, and take a spoonful. It's supposed to be the epitome of a wholesome breakfast, right? Well, not if you were one of the unsuspecting consumers who unwittingly became part of a clandestine experiment in the 1950s. Welcome to the tale of Quaker Oats Secret Experiment. In the annals of American breakfast history, Quaker Oats has always held a special place. Founded in 1901, this oat-centric company quickly became a breakfast staple in households nationwide. They were the go-to choice for those seeking a nutritious and reliable start to their day. Little did consumers know, their loyalty was about to be tested in the most bizarre and alarming way possible. Quaker Oats Meteoric Ascent was propelled by their innovative approach. In the late 1940s, they stumbled upon a game-changing method for producing oat flakes, making breakfast preparation quicker and more convenient than ever before. This discovery had the potential to redefine the breakfast cereal landscape, and the company was eager to capitalize on it. Fast forward to the early 1950s, the Cold War era was one of uncertainty, where the fear of nuclear conflict was ever-present. People lived with the constant dread of mushroom clouds on the horizon, and it seeped into every facet of American life. Even their morning ritual of having cereal was not immune to the times. Quaker Oats had claimed a substantial portion of the breakfast cereal market, outpacing competitors like Kellogg's and Post. Their market share was impressive, their revenues were soaring, and their influence was undeniable. It seemed that Quaker Oats could do no wrong. For decades, Quaker Oats had positioned itself as a guardian of health and nutrition, a brand that families could rely on. Its wholesome image was carefully crafted through catchy advertising slogans and heartwarming commercials, making it a beloved household name. Kathy, a mother of three, believed that a bowl of Quaker Oats cereal was the epitome of a balanced breakfast for her children. Brad, a dedicated Quaker Oats customer, felt that the company's commitment to quality was unwavering. Little did they know that their trust was about to be shattered, and their loyalty would be put to the ultimate test. As the 1950s rolled on, whispers began to circulate within scientific circles about Quaker Oats covert experiments involving radioactive isotopes in their cereals. It seemed like a ludicrous accusation at first. After all, who would expect a breakfast cereal company to dabble in the realm of radioactivity? It was as if they were trying to turn your daily breakfast into a science experiment. But the shocking truth would soon emerge as investigations stumbled upon confidential documents that revealed the shocking extent of Quaker Oats radioactive experiments. In a twist of fate that would forever be etched in history, the relentless pursuit of the truth would lift the lid on this disturbing secret. With the expose, Federal agencies such as the FDA and the Atomic Energy Commission swung into action, launching investigations into Quaker Oats activities. The once beloved company was suddenly under the microscope for all the wrong reasons. It was as though they had taken a page out of a Cold War spy novel, only with radioactive flakes instead of espionage. Quaker Oats, the symbol of American wholesomeness, stood accused of endangering the health of millions, all in the name of their reckless experimentation. 
The very cereal boxes that had adorned kitchen tables across the nation were now seen in a different light, each one potentially harboring a radioactive secret. The deception perpetrated by Quaker Oats was nothing short of astonishing. It turned out that the company had secretly tested the effects of radiation on cereal shelf life without consumers' knowledge. What was once perceived as the hallmark of trust and quality had been exploited to deceive millions. Consumers who believed they were making a healthy choice for themselves and their families had been betrayed. The legal consequences of Quaker Oats' reckless experimentation were swift, severe, and manifold. The company faced a barrage of lawsuits, with millions of dollars in fines looming on the horizon. As the dust settled, it was evident that this was not just a public relations hiccup. It was a full-blown catastrophe for the brand. Consumer trust in the Quaker Oats brand plummeted to an all-time low. Sales dwindled as more people began to question the safety of their cereal. It was a harsh lesson in the consequences of corporate deceit. Inside the company, heads rolled as top executives were held accountable for their role in the scandal. The era of recklessness had come to an end, but the scars left behind were indelible. The internal dynamics of Quaker Oats shifted dramatically. New leadership stepped in, promising transparency and a commitment to regaining consumer trust. The financial impact on Quaker Oats was nothing short of catastrophic. Sales plummeted, and the company's stock price took a nosedive, hemorrhaging millions in market value. It was a stark reminder that consumers, once deceived, could be unforgiving. The smiling Quaker Oats man had lost his luster, and the cereal aisle was no longer the same. Criminal charges were inevitable in the wake of such a scandal. Some executives found themselves facing legal repercussions for their role in the deception. The justice system was quick to hold those responsible accountable, with a few individuals serving prison sentences for endangering public health. It was a rare instance where corporate wrongdoers faced the full weight of the law. The once mighty breakfast cereal giant had to grapple with the consequences of a betrayal that had shaken consumer confidence to its core. As Quaker Oats counted its losses, the company's bottom line bore witness to the cost of corporate deceit. Quaker Oats, once an icon of breakfast cereal, faced the daunting challenge of regaining consumer trust. In a world where transparency and accountability had become paramount, the company had no choice but to undergo a complete transformation. Gradually, Quaker Oats began to rebuild its reputation through transparency and stringent quality control. They vowed never to forget the lessons of the past and embarked on a journey to provide genuinely healthy breakfast options. Slowly but surely, they regained some of the trust they had lost. Looking ahead, this scandal continues to reverberate. It has left an indelible mark on the way consumers view food corporations, demanding a higher standard of transparency and accountability. As we stand at the breakfast table today, we can only hope that the lessons learned from the Quaker Oats radioactive secret will serve as a beacon, guiding us towards a more honest and responsible future in the world of food.